we have got ourselves another three versus three match that we got going on here and I am playing as Arbiter here, and so this one's going to be interesting. This one is not a Gen 1st build. That's right, those Gen 1st builds are now gone and out the window. We got ourselves a Johnson on our team. We got ourselves a Decimus going against a Pavium, an Isabel, and a third UNSC member that I could not catch on time. And so, Ghost is being produced right away just so we can see if we can contest the power that's being taken if it is being taken on my side of the map and we're going to see what it's like to be an aggressive arbiter player that's right i love being aggressive with rb it's one of a great leader to use in general to be able to do so because elite enforcers are just so strong can they be countered yes but suicide grunts will take you a long way not sure if i'll be using suicide grunts but we'll find out and with that gen being upgraded and the fact that we were able to take out those marines we're now able to get free power on that center of that map on my right hand side which is going to be very nice also these graphical issues will and are resolved in the later videos that we'll have so apologies about that in advance and so with the units that we have, we're going to go ahead and grab the resources around the map. We're going to grab that many, and we are showing double raid camp right away. We're going to be on one gen. We're going to go ahead and see if we can pressure orange. And if we have the opportunity to do so, we're going to go ahead and scout and see what orange is doing. So then we can go ahead and alter our build if we have to, depending on what they are doing. So, based off what we saw. It's a full gen build. And because it's a full gen build, a full economy build, we're going to be able to take advantage of this, right? Especially if Orange is thinking about taking a second base where that's where his Marines are currently at. Maybe he's there to go ahead and grab the resources in there. Instead, that's what seems more likely. But we're going to make those suicide grunts like I was talking about. We're going to go ahead and continue with Harvester so we can get as much supply as possible. And now we're going to go ahead and start heading over to Orange's base once we get at least a comfortable amount of units. In order to go ahead and start pressuring on that side of the map, I mean, with what we have and the fact that they went full economy, no barracks or anything like that, that's going to be our cue to try and take advantage of the situation here. So we got both our raid camps hop group and now we're going to start sending our units over and so pavium on the other hand for yellow or whatever unsc took that they took our own mini base and pavium used their slow heal but we're going to go ahead and start focusing down on the generator and the main reason is because if we take out the gen then that's going to cost them 500 resources and so we're going to start focusing on that right away we have great damage output happening right now on those generators and it does look like the mines did a little bit of damage for my elite enforcers and we do have a little bit of a divide here in regards to our units trying to do damage over here which is a little bit unfortunate the grunts are going to focus down on the marines and it does look like they have hellbringers which is also quite unfortunate on our side too i want to go ahead and teleport but it costs 200 power we're trying to at least get rid of the gen, which we were able to, which is nice. We're going to waste the 200 power to at least heal our army back up and get the rest of them out of there. So, all in all, it wasn't really the best attack in the world. Could have been better. Great job for them getting turrets. But the focus fire on the gen was actually poorly executed. And with the amount of units that yellow has, it's a little bit concerning. But, as I mentioned before... Suicide Grunt can take you such a long way. It is underutilized. It is something that should be used more often as Covenant, but it is not. And so we're going to focus on just taking the node. And right now we're a little bit behind on the power side, which is unfortunate. Yellow is grabbing a second base right away. And so now I need to figure out what my next steps are going to be. I mean, I can't really pressure orange right now. They got two turrets in the back. And we still don't know what's happening with yellow, so I just need to be active, keep making at least units with the supplies that I have, try and see if I can grab a second base. And here comes yellow with the massive amount of infantry and hellbringers, a ping is happening by light green, which is me, to go ahead and let my teammates know about the situation. And so great vortex lightning is coming down, we definitely have snipers being set up as well. And now my suicide grunts will be coming in for the flank from behind. 
which is going to be nice to see. And so first round of Suicide Grunts come in. Oh, and it just took out a lot of the infantry. And we're not even done yet. Suicide Grunts come in to finish so almost the rest of them. A lot of them are in red, which means we're going to be able to clear out what is left of yellow. So just a beautiful flank engage that we had going on here. And yellow just lost everything that they had. And so now we're going to start clearing out the mini bases in order to try and capitalize on the small victory that we have gotten. Now, granted, we're still stuck in tech one. And so that is something that we're going to need to improve on. But now we can start focusing on the power nodes because of the fact that we have this area of the map in our control. And so turrets are going to start being made in order to help protect my base because we have no idea what orange is going to be doing. We were able to kill that mini base and now we can start focusing on the power node. And so now we're going to see if we can attack elsewhere. We have light blue shifting over to red. We do have some pesky hellbringers that we have to go ahead and deal with. And we're finally going to get enough power to go ahead and get the hellbringers I'll bring us get to tech two. And so we're going to try and focus down the turret with the elite enforcers that we have. And then we're going to try and just do some damage over here if possible. And so engineer has shown up, but we do have enough to go ahead and deal with this. We are going to put some elite enforcers in the bunker because that's going to be a nice play as a whole. We're going to teleport to the back because they did an ODST drop. We're also going to get plasma rifle plasma drop i forgot the name of it my apologies for that you know what it is let me know i mean i have been playing arbiter for a little bit but you know some things just go past me. and so there goes our ability plasma bolt just came to me right now and we were able to continue doing good damage against these turrets which is nice to see a slow heal is coming down by the avium but we're gonna just focus down on the harvester and that's going to at least do a little bit of economic damage and we're going to start making some hunters now to get ourselves ready for any type of vehicles that do show up. But right now, things are looking at least a little bit better in regards to the economic damage. Still, lots of marines coming from orange. And we're going to focus down on that extractor to see if we can go ahead and take it out. And if we can, that's going to be at least a huge boost for us. And we're going to still focus on just producing more grunts. And we're going to go ahead and keep producing some additional units anytime that we can and so turret is going to be taken out we got rid of the gen they're still making elite enforcers elite enforcers that's what i'm making but they're still making engineers to try and heal their units but it does look like we're going to at least be able to continue this pressure up but now that some warhogs are showing up those hunters are going to need to come into play if possible and so we still have suicide grunts that are being made and hopefully we can get some reinforcements with some hunters. But we are at least doing some good damage on their upgraded buildings. And we will have an elite enforcer drop that's going to come in to try and give ourselves a boost. But if you look at what's over here, there's a lot of marines. And our infantry is not going to be able to deal with that. So we're going to switch gears and pivot and see if we can go ahead and attack orange. Since we did a lot of economic damage. And hopefully dark blue will be able to retreat appropriately and be able to deal with that over there and so elite enforcers are going to be dropped in we do have some air support with the desi air our teleport is ready to go if we need be so now we're boosted up incredibly well and it does look like orange's base is going to be taken out pretty fast and yellow's starting to get a good amount of warhogs but has been pushed back a little bit on that left hand side and now here comes orange with a bunch of marines as well and trying to get its armory up and so we have to be a little bit careful to make sure we don't get squashed here by both yellow and orange but i'm just going to go ahead and keep on pushing the side to see if i have an opportunity to do some more economic damage if possible we're also hopefully not going to have a hunter deal with that but we have some snipers that are coming in on us this is going to be a little bit of a problem we don't really have the army comp to deal with snipers right now but we're going to go ahead and focus on the main base and split our suicide grunts a little bit back decimus was going to try and engage the infantry over there but it looks like they won't be able to and it kind of makes sense because of the fact that they get countered and so dark blue is also being attacked by yellow at the same time and we're going to try and take out the mini base and we do have ourselves some grunts our suicide grunts are going to come in for the flank this was perfectly set up 
But we do have ourselves a teleport to get ourselves and our army out. Suicide Grunt did a heck of a lot of damage. But unfortunately, I wasn't paying attention to that little carpet bomb that ended up coming down. And I took a lot of damage because of it. But we're still making some Suicide Grunts, which is very nice to see. We're going to go ahead and keep doing some work on the expansion base by Pompey Boy. And it does look like Yellow is going to be pushed away with the Desi Air. And so now we're still in an interesting position, which is the fact that we have Orange on one base. Desi Air is starting to get a little bit bigger on our side. And we were able to reset a little bit of Yellow's army. But the question is, where am I going to attack next? I think the play here is to go ahead and hit Orange. And if that's the case, then we want to go ahead and be able to then try and wipe out what they have and just finish the game from there. But we're going to see if this is going to be executed. We're going to put a grunt on hold decision just to see if the second base is going to be established. So we're going to keep pushing with our infantry army with suicide grunts. But I guess we're going to still wait just a little bit longer in order to see if we can get what we need for our good army comp to finish this fight. I like that play of words there, finish this fight. But here comes the Desi Airs that's going to come in to help reinforce this. We have the Spirit Assault ready to go. Bunch of Warhogs are coming in on that left hand side. And so there's going to be an engagement. But now can we double down with both of our armies to go ahead and take out Orange? Because that is the weaker side since Orange is on one base. And here we go. We're going to get ready to push as of right now. Huge engagement by yellow that's going to be happening, shifting over to dark blue. And now my army is going to start heading over. So the question is, will the Desi Air come in as one? It does look like it will. And so we will have ourselves a second upgrade for Conduit of Rage, which will be very nice to see. We do have some hunters that will be great to also deal with. Our Suicide Grunts kind of did all right damage, but definitely not as eventful as we want, but definitely a great Plasma Bolt there. And Elite Enforcer Drop is gonna come in. So the Hunters are doing great work to get rid of the Wolverines, which means the Desi Air has full reign to do whatever they want. And they are making a Siege Turret, which won't be enough to go ahead and deal with the situation. We have broken free. But now you have a big engagement with Red hitting Dark Blue on their side and Yellow hitting Light Blues secondary base and so now this may turn into at least a little bit of a base trade but at least orange is going to be knocked out and taken care of which means all we have to do is deal with yellow so the tp is going to happen right away and we're going to focus down on the anti-air turret so then that way the desi air can go ahead and fall back and deal with what's happening over there and with the army that we have we should be able to deal with what is left on this side of the map and it's going to be a little bit of a trade right now light blue's base is under a lot of pressure but i do have the hunters to deal with the warhogs that are showing up and with the elite enforcers that we have we can at least start targeting down the base have the hunters focus down on the warhogs and then continue to streamline any reinforcements that we could possibly get and so now yellow has decided to fall back to their base to try and defend and here comes that carpet bomb it's a very big hit right there but we're still going to be able to get rid of the units and get rid of all the anti-air turrets, which means once the Desi Air shows up, we're going to be able to finish the rest. And because his units were more streamlined in for reinforcements, it just means that they weren't able to go ahead and do that big attack. But Ghost of the Machine ends up being called, but all of a sudden Poppy Boy ends up being eliminated, which was orange if I'm not mistaken. And it does look like we are going to be able to take out Yellow's expansion base, which is nice to see as well. I'm going to start getting away from those Banshees because we don't want to go ahead and take those out. Those are quite necessary in order for us to finish what is the left of Yellow. And now we're going to get ready for one more push, really. Red is on one base, and there is that disconnect. The fact that they lost Orange hurt them a little bit too much. Ends up self-destructing, and now... All that's left is to deal with red. And there's going to be plenty of air to go ahead and deal with that. The base is going to be focused down. And I am going to slowly be getting rid of the units over there. And red actually has a pretty nice air comp army. Focusing down on dark blue and dark blue's army isn't really good enough to go ahead and fight that engagement. So honestly, this was a very interesting battle. We could have collapsed on either lane, but... The base is going to be held and I do have a mass stasis and so 
all in all, this ends up being a victory and hopefully an enjoyable one at that. Definitely tried to be aggressive early on, but those suicide grunts definitely were nice to see. I went 44 for 70 with the Arbiter, which is nice to see. Won that power game. Our Johnson went 16 for 33, and our Decimus went 7 for 38, which is everything that you want to see right there. And there, Isabel did very good on the economy game. So hopefully you enjoyed the match. If you did, feel free to hit a like. Feel free to subscribe if you haven't already to enjoy more of this commentary video. Leave a comment on what you think about the game as a whole or any improvements as always trying to get better. And with that being said, enjoy the rest of your day, week, hour, or second, and I'll catch you in the next commentary video.